N8N is a powerful automation platform that you can self-host and it allows you to connect and automate tasks both inside and outside of your network. Now it's worth noting up front that while the source is fully available, it is not licensed under a traditional OSI approved open source license. Still, you can self-host it, modify it, and run it entirely on your own infrastructure. N8N 2.0 will be released here in December of 2025. So in this video, I'm gonna focus on that version and getting it set up and running in Docker. Now this video is not sponsored, but if you'd like to hire us for a project or get some swag from our store, you can do so by heading over to lawrencesystems.com. You'll find a link down below to my forum post called N8N 2.0 Docker Tutorial Setup. I'll be pulling from the commands in here. If you're not familiar with Docker, I've also linked my Docker video at the top here. That is how to set up Docker and the way I prefer to set it up. The compose files on my GitHub, the environment files on my GitHub, and I have a couple curl commands. You can simply copy and paste to grab them into your environment. And then for simplicity, I prefer bind mounts. I know there's gonna be some controversy around that. You may customize this not to use them. I prefer them. Therefore, I have the command to create a couple directories. If you don't create these ahead of time, it will create them, but it will not give it the right permissions. So you'll have a problem. If you create them ahead of time, the permissions will be right. So you can simply copy this command as well. And this is what we'll be doing to, to get it set up in this tutorial. Then we're gonna run Docker compose up. You may notice I didn't mention the tack D. The reason for that is the D is for detach and lets it run in the background, but I prefer the first time I run it to see all the messages that come up. And once it's done and the messages are either full of errors or just telling me that it's successful, I can then simply press D on the keyboard and that'll put it in detach mode in modern installs of Docker. Now, the first step is getting our environment file and our compose YAML file. Let's go ahead and edit that compose YAML file. Now we can leave all of this the same, but we do wanna come down here and edit the host. So I've already got my reverse proxy set up and my production system is n8n.lawrencesystem.com. We're gonna go ahead and insert demo because I have another reverse proxy set up for demo. I'm gonna leave it at this port because nothing else is using that port. So the port's fine. And we want this to match the webhook URL. Then down here, we have the time zone. I am in the America Detroit time zone. So I'm gonna leave this alone, but once again, customize this as needed. Then save this file. Next, we want to edit the environment file. And we want to set our Postgres password to some reasonable alphanumeric password. And then we want to do the same for the master key used to encrypt sensitive credentials. And finally, change the one for the auth token for the runners. Now we're going to save that. Now we got to make those directories for the bind mounts. And then we run our Docker Compose up. And as I mentioned, without the tack D. I already have the images downloaded, so it didn't have to download it again. Now it's going to run the process to build the database for the first time. And now we're just waiting for the system to become ready. And now we can see down here, it says is available at n8n-demo.lawrencesystem.com. And if we press D, that'll detach, but leave the system running. Now, if we head over to the n8n demo site, let's go ahead and fill this in. Click next, and now we're in. Now you can start from scratch, which of course might be fine for some people that are following along with the tutorial, but it's probably easier to start with a template. We can go to like an IT ops template and they have a template here for backup all your N8N workflows to Google. So let's go ahead and click on that. You can click use for free. And because we launched off of the site, it has the option then to just import the template. Now I'm gonna skip setting up the credentials because it's just to show you what a workflow looks like and now it's in. But without any credentials, it actually won't execute. Now, if you're not familiar with setting up reverse proxies, I do have a tutorial on that that you'll find linked down below. I use Nginx Proxy Manager, works quite well for me. I know there's a lot of others and there's a whole lot of opinions about them. I just went with that one because it's easy and simple, but use whichever one makes you happy. Like and subscribe to see the upcoming videos on how to actually implement this. The first ones I'll be doing is on SureNAS and how to have it check all your tasks, your replication tasks across several servers. And of course, in a very secure read-only manner. I've got that pretty much finished and working, a little more polished on it and then the video will be out. Uh, leave your thoughts and comments down below. Are you using N8N or what do you want to use it for? Love hearing from all of you. Hit me up in the forums at forums.lawrencesystems.com and thanks.